Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Hey, I needed an excuse to test out uh, my new uh, computer screen recorder for you guys. So I'm coming up with a quick video to show you and kind of maybe just give you an idea of what what gains are on in the AS3X. I can't really say that AS3X. For example, the 636 receiver here now has the Optera files loaded into it as if you bought a bind and fly e-flight Optera two meters wide but we have it in a 20 inch foam test plane so if you were to use the receiver from the Optera in a real small plane how would it fly? What, how would the gains affect it? so this will just kind of give you an idea you know what's up with gains gains are the sensitivity of the gyro real quick if your gains were set really low and your plane turned because of a gust of wind and turned like this then maybe it would think about helping out if they were set real high and a gust of wind got it it would flip it upside down it, it would overcorrect itself so fast it would crash so gains are important so take a look at this video and I got some more coming your way bye okay there guys and gals at this point I am going to put the uh, Optera back into the AR636 receiver and we will go to the spectrum programmer real quick to show you the the gains you can see um, right there at flat mode 1, 70%, 60, and 77. Now let's power the cable. I forgot to do that. All right. Now you can see the model Carbon Z Cub is the one that's selected because the one below it, uh, you know, you could click select to select that one. So we have the Carbon Cub. And you see the, the gain 70, 60, 77. Just remember those numbers, okay? I'm going to completely exit the Spectrum Programmer. Now I'm going to go to the Spectrum Updater. This is another way. This is a. This is. I got a lot of videos coming your ways, guys. I'm in the Updater now. I'm powering the cable. Here's the warning about the battery. Powering the cable. Now I'm going to go to Import Model. I've already downloaded and saved the Optera up here at the very top. I'm grabbing it and I'm bringing it down and I'm sliding it into choose file save to the receiver that quick the Optera is now in the receiver so we're closed the updater we're now opening the programmer so that we can see the uh, the gains to the difference okay remember 70 60 77 power cable power cable the device settings they don't match which do you want to use we want to use the device now look at the gains 25 28 and 0 there's no yaw in a in a delta wing so we know we have the uh, Optera back in the receiver power off the cable and let's go set up the uh, my test plane all right guys and gals this is a quick video testing out my new screen recorder and to give you guys just an idea just to see what the AS3X AS3X gains are about we now have the Optera back in the 636 receiver and I have only two channels on the receiver being used the right and left Elevon and then in the throttle port is the battery pack I'm going to turn on my transmitter and it still has the Optera and then turn on the plane let it uh, initialize okay so now we're good I'm giving it some gas to activate the AS3X and Look at the plane doing that all on its own. 
that is how sensitive the gains are for this size plane. The Optera is two meters wide. Now we have a 20 inch plane. So maybe that'll just give some people an understanding about the gains. You know, the gains is the is the sensitivity of the gyro. You know, if, if that plane was two meters wide, which is a little over six feet, versus 20 inches, and there's several pounds difference, then just sitting on a table and moving the elevons wouldn't let it oscillate like that. So if you were going to use the Optera profile in this size wing, you would probably use a quarter to a sixteenth of the gain values. Just giving you guys a little, a little something something while I'm uh, working on some new uh, ideas for you. Hey, thank you. Until next time. Well, you won't see me here, but I'm here. Thank you guys.